He says he's going to move to Florida for tax reasons. Paul LePage, governor of Maine, outgoing <laughs> governor of Maine, is with us now. First of all, I've got, okay, I've got, there's no state income tax in Florida. There's no estate tax, all good. But what are the requirements to make you a resident of Florida? Don't you have to stay for at least 180 days? Yeah, well, yeah, what, what, what happens, uh, we've, we have a home in Florida, and uh, we're just going to move and, um, and become residents of Florida. And uh, for ne I, I still have to pay taxes in Maine for this year. Yeah. Uh, next year, I will be uh, no longer paying taxes in the state of Maine. And I'm going to join uh, a former governor who brought the income tax to Maine, who retired to Florida. I'm going to retire with him. <laughs> that's, a, that's a nice point, Mr. Governor. That, that, that really is. I, I asked the question about the resident requirements because I know a lot of people in New York and New Jersey who are eager to flee to Florida, but they, the, the local authorities, the New Jersey authorities, they come after you. They make you prove that you're, you're actually living down there. There's all kinds of requirements you have to meet. Is it the same oh, yes, with me? Yeah, in Maine, yes. In fact, in Maine, if they'll 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 uh, look if you still remain your your primary care physician and your dentist, and if you're getting any medical treatments in Maine, they'll come after you. If you own property in Maine, they'll count the days that you're there. Uh, but we sold the property in Maine, and we uh, moved everything to Florida. So officially, my residency is in Florida, but I'm still at the governor's home until the next governor kicks me out. What, what, what do the people in Maine think about this? I mean, you're the governor, and you're, you're well. You're I've, I've been saying it. I've been saying it for years. I mean, for, for for the 60 years that I've worked in Maine and lived in Maine, I have been uh, trying to reduce the taxes. Right now, we have an enormous surplus. We do not need an income tax, but the incoming Democrats believe that uh, they want to raise it, and so I'm just. Uh, Would you? We've managed to get the income tax off. Uh, military pensions, but they're unwilling to address the uh, retirees, and therefore, call it a statement or call it what you want. I love the state of Maine, but I am being forced out. Um, would, you, would you have gone to, Maine, to Florida? Would you still be moving down there if Andrew Gillum had become the governor of Florida? <laughs> because he well, might already had the home. I was, I was pretty confident that uh, he would not win, but I'll tell you, I had a big scare this week, and we were, we were really thinking it over Tuesday evening. Do you have any second thoughts at all about going to Florida and leaving your home state? Uh, not really, because my, most of my, my, uh, many of my family is in Florida. My son's in Florida. My brother's in Florida. My wife's family is in Florida. Uh, so I think we're, we're going to be closer to our family. We plan to spend our summers in Maine, uh, but uh, we are probably going to work. Uh, I'm, I'm looking to probably teach or maybe get on a few boards and stay busy. And uh, but we'll probably spend most of our summers in Maine. Well, sir, you're going to be joining an awful lot of people from New York, New Jersey, <laughs> Connecticut, Illinois, well, and all countless other places. A lot of people from Maine. <laughs> an awful lot of people from Maine go to Florida. And it's not just for the weather, I'm sure of that. <laughs> Governor LePage, <laughs> thanks very much for joining us, sir. We appreciate it. And